There was an argument in the car? It, it was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. But that's like normal friend yes. stuff. Like, yeah. we fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. But I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like, this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated to right. the way that it did. So I get out the car and it's like everything happens so fast. Yes. And all I hear is this man screaming is, he said, dance, bitch. And he starts shooting. And I'm just like, oh my God. Like he shot a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And I, I so was so scared. So is he in the car shooting from the car, Megan? He is he? standing up over the window okay. shooting. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even want to move. I didn't want to move too quick. Like, cause I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know if he can shoot something that's like super important. I don't know if he could shoot me and kill me. Like, Were you afraid for your life at that I time? I was really scared cause I had never been shot at before. Mm -hmm. Ah man. All right, here we go. We're back with another one, y'all. Tory Lanes. First, let me start off by saying thank y'all for taking the time out to watch my video. Um, all your new viewers, thank y'all. Old viewers, thank y'all. I implore every one of y'all to hit that like button for me. You know, I appreciate it. It keeps my sight moving forward. Far whatever, back we is never, you know? Um, I'm a straight shooter. I'm going to get right into it. Tory Lanez. I've been following this since my last YouTube page, so this is not the first time I've spoken about this. Um, whether Megan Thee Stallion is lying or telling the truth, it makes no matter, it makes no never mind whether she's lying or telling the truth. Because when this thing happened with Tory Lanez, he was already on probation. You on probation, you're not supposed to have no gun. You have security, security carries the weapons, but you're the one seen by a witness squeezing, licking off shots in the air. Why you on papers? The thing with Tory, like I said, it had nothing to do with Megan. Whether she's telling the truth or not, had nothing to do with it. Tory Lanez has a serious degree of Napoleon syndrome. Little man complex, whatever you want to call it. A man that stands on his wallet is a dangerous man. I'm going to say it again. A man that stands on his wallet is a dangerous man. Why? Because those men are very emotional. Those men tend to compensate using their money because of whatever other reason. And they're driven by ego. So they're emotional and ego driven, that's a dangerous man, especially when he has money. And that's Tory Lane's problem. Before this whole Megan Thee Stallion thing, he beefing with um, August Alsina. He want to shoot the heads up or the five minutes or do the one on one, whatever y'all call it. Shoot the five, whatever y'all want to call it. He want to fight August Alsina. Everybody know August Alsina has health problems. He want to fight August Alsina. He want to fight, um, what's the other kid name? There was this kid named Prince from Love and Hip Hop Miami. I think he ran up on him and, and straight snuffed him. He straight ran up on him and snuffed him because of some internet Bullshit. Right? And then he had beef with another kid. He had so many issues out and about, which is why he was already on papers. Travis Scott, that's that kid's name. He wanted to fight, fight a one-on-one. -on -one. He wanted to shoot the five-minute fader. You know what I mean? 
with Travis Scott. He stepped to him and everything. All of this has been documented. It's all over YouTube. This is this guy has Napoleon simp Napoleon complex, little man syndrome, whatever you want to call it. This is what he was driven off of ego and 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 his emotions. That's why Tory Lanez ended up where he is. Now let's start off with the title of the album. Sorry for what? What what is the title expressing and talking about? I think uh for me, you know, I've always been a very unapologetic person when it comes down to my craft and to the things that I enjoy and the things that I love and I feel like when we was creating the album and creating the album title and listening to the music and how it sounds, it sounds unapologetic, but it also gives you that like resilience that standing in the wind when it's blowing. I feel like it's just about staying tall and you know staying true to you and you know being unapologetically yourself. So I called it sorry for what. Okay. All right. So now it is what it is, right? He likes to fight. He likes to fight all the time. He has anger issues. So let's see what kind of skills he really got. Now he's locked up in jail in the penitentiary. He's got he got to do at least eight and a half years, right? He got sentenced to ten bullets, ten humps. He got to do at least eight and a half, right? You like to fight? Let's see what them hands really do now. All right? Because you have to fight your bunkie. You have to fight some COs. You got to fight some guys that's in there for 25 to life. And they don't care about you. You got to fight somebody that's trying to shank you. You got to fight somebody that's trying to steal your commissary. <laughs> You're going to have to fight someone that's stealing your phone time. And if they get your PIN number for your phone, you got to fight for that. You're going to have to fight somebody that cheated you out of a soup. You're going to have to fight because someone called you a cheater in a spades game. You're going to have to fight. You like to fight? You in a pen now, man. Now let's see what kind of hand skills you got. Let's see if you really could fight. Let's see if you really can get down since you like to fight all the time. All those I've seen, everybody know all those I've seen a week. Travis Scott, everybody know Travis Scott ain't about that life. Prince from Love and Hip Hop. Come on, man. I, that, everybody know that dude Tender, man. This guy with his Napoleon complex. Now, you like to fight? You in the penitentiary. <laughs>